Hello everyone this is Ashish welcome back to Talk 4712 today we are going to talk about some important mistakes that most aspirants make especially inspired by the mistakes that I've made during the preparation of competitive examinations like GATE BARC ISRO engineering services and I'm going to explain because I've not only cracked examination I've failed at a lot of examinations that I've appeared in so let us get to the first one watching a lot of topper interviews now i have been in the receiving end of it and the delivering end of it now there was a time when i was undergraduate i was not knowing anything about these competitive examination and the only source that i was having was youtube and at that time also in 2015 it was filled with a lot of toppers being interviewed now there's nothing wrong in watching or listening to what a topper is trying to say but listen to it by your perspective looking at yourself as well i'll give you some example for example a topper who has always been a topper topper since class 1 to class 10 topper in boards topper in 12th board then topper in college and then topper in let us say gate examination that person when that person talks about how he or she used to study you should not really listen to if you are listening to a topper you should be listening to what was the strategy and what was the study material the second one is even more important if that person is talking about the study material yeah go ahead but until unless you have been a topper throughout your life i don't think that person is going to help you much so keep those things in your mind i know people watch these topper interviews like a motivational video and especially in this country toppers of competitive examinations are turned into heroes by the same very coaching institutes because there's a benefit to it you know how many views these topper interviews get right go to go and watch any ias topper interview the views will be in millions do you think millions of people actually cracked ias examination no but this is the kind of brainwash that has happened to you throughout your life that toppers are heroes so we are going to watch them and they're compared to crazy people okay it's just an examination to get some job or to get some higher education keep that in your mind when the topper is talking about strategy when the topper is talking about study material then you listen to that person and even that can be sometimes wrong for example a topper who has always been a topper if that person talks about study material let us say he or she is saying that yeah read these all books and he's talking about 20 books okay and that person basically read those 20 books in 4 years of let us say his btech and you are planning to crack this examination in 7 months you go and read those 20 books and one book will take more than 7 months okay if you read them properly so you have to look at your situation please don't get in that trap that i have to replicate or exactly carbon copy whatever the topper is trying to say or do or whatever he or she did while their time of preparation look at yourself everyone's starting point is different and ultimately you have to build your own strategy properly to crack the examination from the state that you are in so don't watch these topper interviews in the form of motivational videos please that is going to hurt I know this because I've done this okay and I'm having no shame because everyone does that. Second one is going to be a quick one. Reading a lot of wrong reference books. Now this happens because of studying in bad engineering colleges or any college that has given you the graduation degree. So what happens you now in colleges different books are preferred according to the teachers who are setting the examination. So semester examination is going to be set according to some local reference book. That book is not actually going to help you because the examination is not local. The examination is national level. So you have to re read some standard reference books. If you are wondering about mechanical engineering, I've made a full video on all the reference books that you should be considering and I'll link it down in the description box that video link, okay? So always keep in mind that you should be reading the right reference books otherwise don't read at all. Third one, because of this competitive examination becoming so big of a business, almost everyone is trying to create some content, okay? It has gone so bad that I've seen people who have not even properly cracked gate examination they are selling their class notes for like 200 300 rupees that is the worst scenario that i've seen 
but obviously they are big coaching institutes also selling a lot of postal material i've always said that postal material does not really help you because it is going to be written in the form of textbook and just reading won't help if you are really serious about cracking examination like isro bark and gate examination you will need solid lectures that you'll need to listen to that is the fastest way of understanding that is the easiest to retain and you will need proper guidance and lectures from people who have cracked examination now that might be free from a lot of sources youtube there are a lot of people teaching for free unacademy also there are a lot of lectures which are free or you can buy some course online course when you have reached a sufficient level of preparation i've already made a video of gate aspirant please don't waste your money watch that before you buy any course the fourth one is also committed by me while i was preparing now people buy too many test series two test series is good you can go as far only when your preparation level is very good but three four is just not suggested in any case you won't be having sufficient time to cover all the tests and also once you get below the top coaching institute test series now there are a lot of mistakes i've seen test series in the worst case scenarios they're like out of 100 questions there will be 50 questions having mistakes like that 50 percent mistakes are there solutions are full of mistakes so that will be actually wasting your time so the top coaching institutes take the test series of them two at maximum more than that is not suggested i'm saying this because i've bought more than two i bought as far as four test series and your mind will become like a mixture and you won't be able to figure out how to focus in a streamlined direction fifth one is something that i committed back when i was preparing for gate 2016 i was not having sufficient idea and i still see so many people making the same mistake which makes me go nuts because i've talked about it multiple time that is not solving previous year questions of engineering services even if you're not serious about engineering services examination number one solve all the previous year questions of engineering services prelims and number two sit for the prelims examination because those two are going to help you a lot in other examination even if you're not serious about engineering services examination if engineering services is available for your branch like uh, mechanical engineering electrical engineering and civil engineering you should definitely do these too. It is going to give you experience. I did that too. I never wanted to join engineering services, was never serious about it. But this is going to give you sufficient practice because engineering services previous year question bank is the most humongous question bank that you can find among government jobs examination that are going on right now in technical field. So please do not miss that and keep this in your mind. If you do not do that, you are going to throw your rank behind by at least 4,000, 5,000 rank. Or if I talk about in marks and gate examination, you could have scored 20 marks more if you would have only solved engineering services previous year questions. Sixth one, not working on your weaknesses. Now, it is completely understandable if your examination is 20 days away and you are not focusing on your weaknesses. But if you have started your preparation or in the middle of your preparation, you have to focus on your weaknesses because in this examination it is a holistic approach that you have to treat every subject equally for me thermodynamics is just as equal as production or industrial engineering even though i do not find a lot of interest in industrial engineering and i'm very interested in thermodynamics you have to do that because the people who are setting this examination they don't really care there will be equal amount of questions from both the part so you have to keep that in my in your mind and sometimes opposite can also happen so these days in gate examination it is not really fixed that this amount of question is going to come from this chapter so you have to be ready for all the part so what you have to do is that most people want to focus on the part that they are strong in because it is interesting you have to do actually the opposite the part that you're strong in that is going to retain in your head but the part which is weak you have to hammer it again and again you have to study it again and again so that that also remains in your head after the examination is over you can forget about it no problem but until that written test is done you have to focus on your weaknesses more than you're focusing on your strength seventh one is not having sufficient practice now this is what most people do they take some coaching they go through the classes or they go through online lectures and they make a lot of class notes they go through the some books and they make some notes from that as well and then what they do is throughout let us say four or five months of their preparation they keep on going through those class notes again and again this is the mentality that they are having that i'll start solving previous year questions when i'll get the confidence that this part is good 
you have to start applying because you don't have to become better at memorizing those stuff in your notebook you have to become better at practicing those questions applying the knowledge that you're having so initially let us say when you're preparing for gate examination which is in february in june you are going to give 30 percent of time in solving questions and as it moves to november and december it will be like 80 percent of time given to numerical solving you understand that is very important because that is ultimately what you're going to do on the day of the examination okay last three are going to be essential ones and i'm not going to spend a lot of time in the eighth one because i've talked about this before noting questions of test series don't do it it does not help you do not have to memorize the questions that are coming in test series you have to become better at solving new and new questions so when in a particular test series you are not able to solve a particular question after the test series you invest 15 to 20 minutes in trying to solve that question on your own if you're going to be able to solve it then good if you're not able to do it look at the solution maybe the question is wrong and then forget about it that question does not even exist the only job of that question was to give me the practice of attempting new questions that i've never seen before so you understand don't do it don't note questions i still have notebooks filled with me noting the questions that came in test series and i still remember that back in 2016 gate examination i was revising that four days before the examination and after the examination i found out that what a waste of time it was so it never helps you have to become better at solving new and new questions drill it deep in your head because this is going to be the most important tip for you for preparation of national level competitive examinations now this is a mistake that i made while i was preparing for gate 2016 that is looking at the solution if you just saw a question and look at the solution and find the solution and you think that okay i know how to solve this question you're actually right you know how to solve that question but you only know how to solve that particular question so again the point remains the same you have to develop the ability of looking at the question which you have never seen before and trying to find out the solution based on whatever you have studied before right that ability is only going to be developed or improved if you force yourself to find the solution so invest the time in finding the solution in after 20 minutes 30 minutes if you're not able to find the solution or initial phases let's say you are in third year you can stick with that question throughout the day discuss with people discuss with your friends discuss with teacher and by the end of the day if you're not able to solve the question then you can look at the solution so more you are going to think the better it is going to be for you it is going to train your brain to find a solution of a question you have never seen before and that is ultimately what you have to do on that examination day as well the only thing is that on examination day you have to do it let us say in three minutes and um, when you have just started your preparation you can take a whole day but that process of trying to find out the solution is going to reduce its time that it is consuming as you practice it more and more the last one is the most important one that is why it is at the end so that only people who think that this video is worth it are staying over here those people are the ones who actually deserve to know this and this is something that i figured out after gate 2017 that the, these competitive examinations are not really everything now you listen to me very carefully because there are a lot of layers to it people worry too much while they're preparing for competitive examination because that is what they are told that if you do not do this they're basically thinking that if i'm not able to crack this examination i'm going to die or something that is the kind of mentality that people are having and because of that they take too much pressure and they are straight up decreasing their efficiency by 50 percent i want you guys to not worry that much about these examination there are plenty of ways to have an income there are plenty of ways to earn a living look at me right now what i'm doing has nothing to do with the examinations that i cracked it has nothing to do with all the hard work that i did for six years you find new things life is very very big but first coming to this one one particular examination does not matter there's a luck factor in every examination so there are multiple examination and i've talked about how you should be preparing for multiple examinations so if your gate examination is ruined there's brc examination there's isro examination there's more and more psu examinations that are coming up giving the same level of jobs if you are not able to crack any of them 
you can try your hand somewhere else there are other jobs also available in the private sector try something else so you have to first make yourself believe that there are other opportunities as well so first remove that tension that if i am not able to do or crack this examination i'm nothing one examination cannot really judge you so remove that pressure you'll be definitely doing much better i don't want you to remove that pressure and go out party with friends okay i don't want that but if you're taking that pressure there's always some alternative way out one examination is not going to judge your life